Approach to a patient with chronic headaches. Chronic headaches occur in 39 million people in the US and 1 billion people globally. Let's discuss a typical case. A 22-year-old woman with a history of migraines presents to clinic with four months of worsening unilateral throbbing headaches. That is, her typical migraines but occurring more frequently and lasting longer. She has been taking ibuprofen or sumatriptan about 20 times per month for the last three months. Before this, her migraines used to occur once per week and resolve with NSAIDs. Our patient has a chronic headache, defined as four or more hours per day for at least 15 days per month over at least three consecutive months. Her neurologic exam is normal, but her increase in headache frequency is a red flag, so an MRI brain with contrast is obtained to exclude a secondary headache etiology. The most common primary headache etiologies are chronic migraine, chronic tension type headache, and hemicrania continua. The most common secondary chronic headache disorder is medication overuse headache. Others include intracranial neoplasm and idiopathic intracranial hypertension. Headache disorders are diagnosed based on history and neurologic exam. This table outlines the diagnostic criteria for the most common chronic headache disorders. Unilateral pulsating headaches with or without aura are chronic migraines, while milder non-pulsating bilateral headaches are chronic tension type headaches. Conjunctival injection or nasal congestion ipsilateral to the headache suggests hemicrania continua. New or worsening headaches in a patient with a pre-existing headache disorder and regular analgesic overuse suggests medication overuse headaches. Once a diagnosis is established, a treatment plan can be developed using these three components, prevention, rescue, and lifestyle modifications. Chronic migraine prevention consists of different medication classes, including antihypertensives, such as beta blockers, antidepressants, such as tricyclics, anti-seizure medications, calcitonin gene-related peptide or CGRP antagonists, such as atojapant, onobotulinum toxin A, or neuromodulatory devices. Rescue treatments are the same as those used for acute migraine, including NSAIDs, acetaminophen, triptans, CGRP antagonists, neuromodulation, and older treatments such as ergotamines. Antiemetics are often also necessary. Lifestyle modifications include sleep regulation, evaluation and treatment of sleep disorders when warranted, healthy diet, consistent water intake, limited caffeine intake, exercise, stress management, and smoking cessation. Chronic tension type headaches prevention entails limiting triggers through lifestyle modifications biofeedback, and physical therapy. Tricyclic antidepressants are the most evidence-based preventative pharmacotherapy. Rescue treatments include NSAIDs, acetaminophen, and aspirin, but appropriate counseling is needed to limit the risk for medication overuse headache. Indomethacin is used for diagnosis, rescue, and prevention of hemicrania continua. Medication overuse headache can be prevented by treatment of the underlying headache disorder and by reducing reliance on acute analgesic treatments to a goal of no more than two days a week. Effective treatment requires careful monitoring of treatment response and shared decision-making between the patient and clinician. Pediatric and pregnant patients should receive tailored treatment. Let's return to our case. Given the patient's normal brain MRI, she is diagnosed with medication overuse headache due to NSAID and triptan overuse likely precipitated by Western baseline migraine frequency. Propanolol, one of the most effective first-line medications, was started for migraine prevention, thus lowering her rescue treatment use. Over the following six months, her headache frequency reverted to one migraine per week, which was successfully treated with almotriptan. For more information on this and other neurologic conditions, please visit aan.com neurobites.